Final guest for this evening is a critically acclaimed comic from the UK who's currently performing his show Lefty Tidy Righty Lucy at the Melbourne International Comedy Festival. He's one of my absolute favourites. Would you please welcome Finn Taylor? Hey. Hello. Hey, everyone. Hey, Tom. Hey, hello. My name's Finn. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a man. And uh, born a man, now live as a man. Uh, just thought I'd clarify that. Um, now, uh, it's sort of a reckoning for men the last few months, you know, and, and things are changing now. Like in London, where I live, uh, they've changed the pedestrian crossing, so now you have to wait for the green gender-neutral symbol, uh, which is cool, right? But I find it funny that they've still kept the red man, you know? Because uh, <laughs> obviously, when, when people's lives are at stake, you want someone with a natural air of authority. <laughs> but... <laughs> You remember that? You remember when sexism was classy before Trump and Weinstein made it all gross? Huh? It's always been wrong, but it used to have dignity back in the day. It wasn't about grabbing things or beating off into pot plants, no. It was about psyching them out at the dinner table. Look, <laughs> older fellas, you remember this, you'd be having, she'd be having a steak and you'd go, she'd go, honey, I might go back to university, get re-educated, re-enter the workforce, and you'd reply, ha, 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 what's for pudding? It was graceful. <laughs> It was wrong, but it had class, you know? <laughs> Women would get paid less, wrong. On the weekends, their husbands would slip them 50 bucks, go buy yourself something nice, Margaret. It evened itself out. <laughs> <laughs> Gender pay gaps are an issue, obviously, you know, uh, especially in the UK now, companies having to release their figures and uh, it's shit, you know, women get punished financially for having kids and men don't and that's rubbish. But at the same time, you have to take time off because giving birth ruins you. I mean, you can't give birth Friday, be back at the office 9am Monday. How was your weekend, Jill? Heavy! Pretty heavy! <laughs> My vagina and my asshole are now the same. They're, they're, they're the same thing. Consolidated all my lower orifices into just one gaping hole. Walking around like a novelty corkscrew the last 48 hours. Uh, anyway, I'd already taken on my annual leave, you see, so, so I thought I'd come in. <laughs> you have to take time off, but... Uh, no, it's, uh, it's a strange time, you know. I find it quite funny how men can't deal with this kind of harassment stuff, like even the good guys. Like, I've got a friend who's a real good guy, you know, like... <laughs> like one of them. And he, uh, you know, he's like Ballard, he's always fucking whining. And, uh, <laughs> He's like, oh, this, this harassment stuff, this harassment stuff's terrible. It makes you want to castrate yourself. That's what he said. Every man should just castrate himself. It's like, fuck off, mate. That's such a male response, isn't it? Because <laughs> women still want to have sex. They just don't want to be harassed, right? So if women are like, hey, could you not harass us as much? And men go, oh, right. Oh, I see. Well, I guess I don't need this anymore. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> women are like, no, I still want to have sex, just more on my terms. But we go, no, no, those are your <laughs> options. <laughs> Either we can harass you or it's nothing. Pick a team. <laughs> like, oh, fuck, fine. But uh, I have to admit, you know, I remember the day the Me Too hashtag, I didn't know how bad things were. It really opened my eyes. I, was, I didn't know what to say. I was on Twitter. I saw this tweet and it said, Men, this isn't the time for your opinions. Just shut up and let women talk. I thought, that's very good. I'm going to do that. I'm going to shut up and let women talk. And then I scrolled down and the next tweet said, Men who are silent are complicit in rape. I thought, oh, for <laughs> fuck's sake. Snookered. But... Um, <laughs> I think it's easier for a, uh, a gay man to harass a straight man than it is a straight man to harass a woman, you know? Uh, I think it's easier to get away with, at least, because I think women, you know when you're being harassed, right? You're raised with this notion of consent. If someone touches you in the street, you're like, what are you doing? Get off. I don't want that, you know? But as a man, if a guy comes up to you in the streets and pulls your trousers down and starts yanking you off, you go, well, give the guy a minute. He clearly knows what he's doing. <laughs> Let's not be too rash here. Maybe I'm gay. I don't know. I, I thought I was just in debt, but maybe that's why I've been sad. You know, you're always... <laughs> Because sexuality's fluid now. I don't know if you know this. It's not possible to be 100% straight. The most you can be is like 90% straight and 10% gay. But that's very weird for me because all my, all my relationships have been with women, all my sexual experiences with women, you know, all my Google searches and shit, they're all women, you know. So it's a very strange time for me because I've never had a gay thought, but I know one's coming. You know, so I'm a bit on edge. Ooh. Ooh, is that... I can't want to have it now while I'm young. It's better to know young, isn't it? Or, also, I don't think penises age that well. I think they really take a beating over the course of their lives. Hey. <laughs> Like, I'm 27, my dick's like 112. It's like a Japanese woman you read about on BuzzFeed that will not die. <laughs> the foreskin gets bigger as you get older. Do you know that? Good grief, the last boy beat you one more of. Holy cow. <laughs> I can't leave the window open in the bathroom. It billows up like a windsock, you know? <laughs> I don't want to be circumcised, but I would just like a bit off the top. Do they do that? It's a bit off the... <laughs> you know the tanks with the fish that women put their feet in? I want to just sort of dip it in there and get them... <laughs> All right, that's my time. Stay woke, everyone. Thanks so much for watching. Finn Taylor, everybody. What a horrible man.